Hello and welcome to another video. If you've never seen a number like this before, you're not alone. I think almost everyone on earth has not seen it and will never see it and will never use it because numbers like this are very big numbers. Even if they're written using small numbers, they are bigger than what you can imagine. So just to get into this, this is what you call tetration, but a way of writing it. It is not an exponent because for an exponent, it will be on the right hand side. Let me show you what this might look like if we used 10. So watch this. 10. If the exponent is on the right hand side, this simply means you want to repeat the multiplication and get 100. It means you need two zeros. So whatever is on top of the 10 is the number of zeros you need to express the number. So this is 100. Now imagine that I increase this 2 to 5. Let's just say, let's increase it to 3. 10 raised to the third power is just adding an extra zero. But I need you to imagine that your pay last month was $100 and this month it has been increased by one zero it's now $1,000 that's a huge gap you see the difference between two numbers just by increasing the exponent is huge especially if the number is already huge so watch this this is going to be 1,000 you have added 900 to what was there let's try one more time we want to increase the zero by another one. So this goes to four. This becomes 10,000. Now the increase from 1,000 to 10,000 is even bigger. So when it comes to exponentiation, you are doing a lot more than this because here you're doing repeated multiplication. Okay. That's what you call an exponent is repeated multiplication. So, if the number I have here was 2 to the third, this is going to be 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2. It means you're doing repeated multiplication of the same base three times, and this is going to be 4 times 2, you get 8. So this is still a relatively small number as long as the base is small. But when the number is itself big, then an exponentiation of it, or sorry, Increasing the exponent is going to be bigger, okay? But now you see what this is. Now, how different is this from what we have? I am going to use another example and explain because this is your class work. You got to figure out what this is because I'm not going to tell you what the answer is. So let me show you something else using tens again. And then we're going to explain when the exponent is not on the right, if we put it on the left, what would it mean? So now we have the third tetration of 10. So what does this mean? It is not the same thing. So this is not the same thing as this. This is a much smaller number because we know that 10 to the third power will be 10 times 10 times 10. So this is 1000. But this means one, followed by, do you know how many zeros this is going to require? 10 billion zeros. One followed by 10 billion zeros. Okay, so there is no space to write that. Let me just tell you a fact. If you go back here, we can rewrite this. If we bring it to the right, it's going to be 10 raised to power 10 raised to power 10. That's the translation of this on the right. And what it says is that you're going to write 10 and the exponent on it, instead of this being 3, the exponent here is going to be 10 raised to power 10, which is 10 times 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 10. That's 10 billion. So the number here is going to be 10 billion. Oh, that's what you're going to see how 10 to the third already gave you three zeros. 
How many zeros do you think this is going to have? 10 billion zeros. How big is that number? 10 raised to 10 billion is bigger than the total number of atoms in the known universe. I need you to imagine that. So if you want to sit down and write all the zeros, you, you will be dead. So nobody can write the number because of the time it takes to write it. We don't learn these things in school because the numbers just quickly go out of control and there's nothing you can do. So based on what I've shown you, I need you to tell me what you think this number is going to be. If you get your answer, put it in the comment. If I heart your answer, it is correct. If I don't heart your answer, well, then everybody's going to then copy. Okay, just, just show your work. Okay. <laughs> Should I give you the answer to this? No, but just understand that anything like this looks like this. This does not change. You do your stacking from the top. Whatever you get is your answer. I'll see you in the next video. Don't stop learning because those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.